44 years ago, the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys played for the NFL championship at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, in the famous Ice Bowl. Today, 44 years later, in weather very reminiscent of that day, it is 15 degrees below zero Fahrenheit here at the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as the Soyuz TMA 03M spacecraft has now reached the pad and is ready to be hoisted by hydraulics vertically on the pad for final preparations for Wednesday evening's launch. Once it goes vertical, the clamshell-like gantry arms will fold around the vehicle and launch pad technicians working in bitterly cold conditions will hook up electrical and data and fuel lines for the final hours of pre-launch readiness. That's the scene here at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Astronaut Mike Barrett, Deputy Chief of the Astronaut Office. Mike, uh, sunrise here at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, the Soyuz vehicle at the pad. 15 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. <laughs> yep. Your thoughts as we uh, prepare for the final launch of this memorable year? Well, I think all of us out here are reminded just how robust this system is. I've been out here when it was, uh, I think we hit 114 degrees in July of 93, and, and today, you know, minus 14 Fahrenheit, and everything rolls on exactly as per the plan. The rocket's in great shape. Uh, the crew's in great shape. Everything is clicking along. So uh, I think we're feeling awfully good about this transportation system. Underneath all that, that's really Bill Gerstenmeyer, the Associate Administrator for Human Exploration Operations. Bill, a memorable year, a transitional year, and here at sunrise in minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit, the Soyuz is ready to be hoisted vertically for another trip to the space station. Your thoughts as the year draws to an end? I mean, it's been an amazing year. You know, I, I think back and I reflect on what we really accomplished this year, and, and it's just absolutely phenomenal with the, the conclusion of the shuttle program, um, then the progress failure, recovery from the progress failure with the Soyuz, and then to be here today ready to go launch the Soyuz again is just a phenomenal testimony to, to what we're doing. And then also I think about all the work that's been going on board the space station. You know, even during this time when we've had three crew, we've been getting a lot of research done. We're getting a lot of activities done on board space station. So it's it's really been just an amazing year for us. And uh, I mean, I just think back and I just think how blessed we are to work in this industry. This will be, I think, the 13th launch this year to the space station. So just an amazing, amazing year for us. 